My topic this time is 9-11. Every September since the infamous date known simply as 9-11, I watch one of the sober, respectful documentaries of that terrorist attack in order to renew my solidarity with those who are against Muslim terrorism and to remind myself of the conflict that we are still in. This year, the documentary that I chose to watch is called 102 Minutes That Changed America. It is an accurate, decent presentation of this grave subject, notwithstanding some of the exclamations by shocked New Yorkers that are broadcast. In September of 2011, a friend of mine forwarded me a link to a documentary called 9-11 Truth Documentary Grave Implications. And this is my topic, particularly. I watched this documentary, though very uneasily. It is a sensationalistic presentation of 9-11, and it is done in that way in order to forward some far-fetched theories. When a documentary of a somber event is done in a tasteless, callous spirit, one should begin to doubt its truth claims because the spirit of a thing usually reveals the nature of its letter. The insensitive spirit of this documentary is obvious from its beginning. Either my friend was not struck by the insensitivity or he was not bothered by it. That is what I thought at the time. The truth is, he probably was struck by the insensitivity of the presentation and he probably was bothered by it, but was nevertheless drawn in to accept the truth claims therein because the film is seductive in character. I wanted to help my friend figure out how to spot seduction that posed for science in order to spare him from believing lies, not only about 9-11, but about any event that might be cast in a seductive view in order to deceive. So I watched the whole documentary with my finger ready to hit the pause button and with my pen in hand. When I was done, I had a detailed list of the faults that are made in this film. Then I sent my friend the corrective document that I had so assiduously prepared. In the spirit of a 9-11 truther, he brushed aside my concerns with as much care as a carpenter would brush the dust off his pants. What he did not do is try to refute my concerns about all the faults that I had found. Truthers are like charismatic churchgoers. In fact, my friend is both. They have decided, even against much forthcoming evidence, that there are things going on that are as exorbitant as their wildest dreams or more nefarious than their worst nightmares. Cryptic goings-on are the meat and drink they must consume in order to fill the spaces in their souls where facts and truth should occupy. You might say that they do not like to learn unless there is some secret code or door to a truth that would scandalize even the most sacrilegious persons among us. They follow in the train of the Gnostics who came on the scene to give us their speculations in the place of what Jesus and the Apostles had given out as gospel truth. These 9-11 truthers, in my opinion, see the real truth of a matter as too mundane for their exotic minds to absorb. It has become a regular thing for them to refuse the straightforward explanation in favor of the sensationalist speculation. Fun is their idol, and they cannot have any fun with facts. Where facts fail to satisfy, fairy tales will have to do. If you probe the lives of such people, you will usually find that they don't have a lot going on. Because they too rarely admit facts and truth, they are always hungry. Fairy tales are like cotton candy in their mouth, always dissolving and never getting to their belly. They like the taste, but the vacuum remains, and so they are ever eating, but never being filled. Not all truthers are truthers for life, and there is no good reason for anyone to ever become one. My critique did not suit my friend's taste. 
in case it will find a suitable palette somewhere and thereby save someone from being seduced, I have pasted it into my blog, which may be accessed by the link in the description box. It follows the introduction that you have just heard. Much of what I say in this critique will apply to other 9-11 documentaries of the conspiratorial variety, as well as conspiracy theories in general. The faults that I found are listed according to the minutes and seconds at which I found them. Allow for these to be off just a bit in case the video post you watch is not exactly in sync with where I watched the video from.